Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, here's something I had never seen before, so I thought I would do a quick video on this. This is a Lionel 33. This is one of Lionel's original early locomotives. This is standard gauge, of course. Now, I got a message from Ralph about, oh, two weeks ago now, that he had picked this up and he uh, asked if he could send it to me to see if I could get it running. Now, this is standard gauge, so it is much, much larger than O-gauge. Exactly the same kind of track. Uh, standard gauge used uh, three-rail track, uh, kind of like a super O-gauge. In any case, I uh, took it apart, as you see, very, very primitive compared to any modern locomotive, if you want to use that term. The problem with it is it has a broken wire in the armature. So there is no way to get this locomotive running without rewinding the armature. It is pretty basic. It has uh, two brushes, just like a standard Marx motor, and they're held in tubes with screws and springs behind them. This one is insulated from the frame. This one is grounded to the frame. So it's uh, exactly the same principle as a Marx motor, just on a much larger scale, as you can see. And uh, the scale is so large, in fact, this will actually fit across the uh, O-gauge track. So uh, anyway, it's not going to run. And I asked Ralph if he wanted me to send it back, and he said, no, just go ahead and keep it. So what I'm going to do with it, I have absolutely no idea. It is extremely poor condition. And I had thought of actually pulling the motor out and putting a uh, O-gauge motor in this frame. Uh, I'm sure I could retrofit one, pull the wheels off, take the armature out, and just uh, mount a Marx motor directly between these two uh, side plates. But it's such a large scale that there's really nothing you can use to run with it as far as uh, cars. It is, as you see, extremely large. Uh, for example, here's a, uh, a Marx 999 in comparison. So you can see this is a really, really large locomotive, and it's in fairly poor condition, as you can see. But it had a, a screw-in headlight, E10 base, just like uh, any other O-gauge train. Has a bell and a whistle, and uh, 1920, perhaps, circa 1920. Could be a bit earlier, could be a bit later. So the Lionel 33, like I said, I had never seen one of these before. And uh, it, again, it's standard gauge. So uh, I did a bit, of, a bit of research on standard gauge trains. It uses exactly the same kind of track, three rail track, just a much larger scale, of course. And it used tab and slot couplers. It looked like a, a giant super O gauge locomotive. And uh, the cars, of course, were uh, scale to the locomotive, so they're much, much larger than uh, standard O gauge. So anyway, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I wanted to do a quick video. You can see it's in really, really poor condition. And uh, if it weren't for that broken wire, it might have been possible to get this uh, locomotive running. But uh, it has a broken wire in the armature, so I would have to completely rewind this if I was going to run it at all. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. In any case, I just thought I would do a quick video on this. It is in incredibly large, as you can no doubt tell. And uh, like I said, I could mount an O-gauge motor in that frame and actually run it. But it's on such a large scale, there's really nothing to run it with. Everything else would be really diminutive compared to the locomotive. But uh, it is reasonably intact, if you want to use that word. Plus, there is a... Uh, complete bag of parts that came with it. it has the pilot, uh, all the uh, associated screws, uh, what appears to be a switch, insulators. So anyway, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this. Like I said, Ralph said if I couldn't uh, get it running to go ahead and keep it. And there's no way this locomotive is ever going to run again without pulling that armature out and completely re rewinding it or finding an armature for it. But in any case, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. It is uh, really interesting to see such an old locomotive. Like I said, this is uh, Lionel's first attempt 
at making an electric uh, train set. And uh, of course you had the locomotive uh, and a, a group of passenger cars uh, that are equally large. Like I said, there isn't a whole lot I can do with this. Like I said, I could put an O-gauge motor in it, but it's in, in such a large scale that uh, unless you have the scale cars to go with it, it's just going to look really out of place on an O-gauge track. But in any case, I just want to do a quick video on it. The Lionel 33 standard gauge locomotive. And you can see it's uh, in fairly poor condition, but this thing is almost 100 years old. Uh, if it's 1924, it's 95 years old. So it's really difficult to say exactly what year this is. It could be as early as 1915. It could be as late as 1925. Uh, I'm by far no expert on uh, antique Lionel trains. But uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video. It is really, really interesting to see this old, old locomotive. And uh, it's in, like I said, really poor condition, but it is reasonably complete. It has the headlight socket, has the bell, has the whistle, a bag of parts, uh, all terribly rusty, as you can see. And uh, the motor is beyond repair. Uh, I could uh, perhaps find a new armature for it, but even so, uh, I don't have any track to run it on. And uh, like I said, I could put uh, an O-gauge motor in this frame. I could just pull all the uh, innards out of this. I could pull the wheels off, pull the uh, the motor out, and actually mount an O-gauge motor between these side plates. And uh, I would at least allow me to run the locomotive, but uh, like I said, it's so uh, substantially larger than any O-gauge uh, car that would go with it. I just don't know what uh, I would do with it. But in any case, uh, I've got the front and rear pilots. So don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it was really interesting, so I thought I'd do a quick video just so you could uh, see it. I thought it was actually quite fascinating. An old, old electric locomotive. Like I said, circa 1920. Could be a bit earlier, could be a bit later. But uh, I thought it was really, really neat old locomotive. I had never seen one of these before. And uh, the standard gauge, like I said, it ran on a three-rail three -rail track exactly like O-Gage, just on a much, much, much larger scale. So, not sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, like I said, I could put an O-Gage motor in it. That would at least get it running, but uh, what would I run with it? I have absolutely no idea. So, in any case, just a quick video. Like I said, I thought it was uh, really interesting to see such an old, old, old original Lionel electric locomotive. So, I thought I'd do a quick video on it. In any case, if you have any questions, or suggestions for that matter, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.